friends, it's Kelly, and welcome back to Mama Needs a Goal. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you're new here, welcome. So today I am making a pasta salad. It's called um, Bowtie Greek Pasta Salad. I have been making this salad for, oh my gosh, probably 20 years. It is one of our favorites that I like to make, especially when we have cookouts for Memorial Day or 4th of July, but really it's good anytime. It's great for um, backyard barbecues. It's just a really refreshing, um, enjoyable summer salad. And I thought I would share it with you today because I am making this, we've been craving it. So I'm making this for dinner. I'm making it up today and we're actually going to eat it tomorrow because we find that the longer it sits, the better that it is. But you can eat it after a couple hours of being refrigerated, but we really, really enjoy it the next day. So I am having this with dinner tomorrow. We're having um, bacon cheeseburgers. So anyway, um, let me quickly go over the ingredients. And I think I mentioned it's called um, Bowtie Greek chicken, uh, not chicken salad. I made chicken salad this morning for lunch today. It's called um, Bowtie Greek salad. So it's going to start with some Bowtie or Fofali pasta, a pound of this. And look, this box here, it's 12 ounces. I thought I picked it. Look how big that is. Is that trick? Did they trick me or what? I thought I had a pound. By luck, I had picked up two boxes, so I do have a pound of it. So when you're buying this pasta, please make sure you look to make sure you do get a pound of it because they got me on that one. It is going to take some Kalamata olives, a couple tomatoes, salt and pepper for taste, one of my favorites, garlic, olive oil, balsamic vinaigrette, or not vinaigrette, balsamic vinegar, oh my, sun-dried tomatoes, tomato paste, and a half of an onion. I already um, used half of this onion um, for the chicken salad that I made this morning, so that was perfect. I already have it um, peeled. Oh, and the, the most important thing, feta cheese. So, um, behind me, I have my water um, on already to get that boiling uh, so I can get my pasta cooked. So, let's turn the camera around. Um, we are going to puree some of these ingredients in the um, mixer here. So, let me turn the camera around and we'll get started. All right, my friends, so I'm going to start with my olive oil. We're going to do three fourths cups of olive oil. I should have just used my bigger one. Take forever. Come on. Okay. We're going to add our olive oil into the blender. And now we're going to go ahead and take our balsamic vinegar. And this is six tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. I keep wanting to say vinaigrette. I don't know why. So six of these. It's one, two, three, four, five. And six. Oops, sorry, friends. And now we're going to go ahead. Still got a little bit of olive oil left in there. I have two ounces of um, sun dried tomatoes. That actually ended up being four ounces. It was a whole one, and I just went with it. And then we're going to do two tablespoons of. Um, Two tablespoons of, yeah, Cal, two tablespoons of tomato paste. So I'm just scooping that out and putting it in here so I don't contaminate my, okay, so I got, got two of the, one of those. Now do one more.
And because I only needed two tablespoons, I've opened an entire container here. So what I'll do is scoop all that out, put it in a little plastic baggie, and right on there, tomato paste, and then I'll go ahead and freeze it. All right, so now we're going to need four cloves of garlic. And this is a half a teaspoon equals a clove of garlic. So we're going to just go ahead and uh, do one. That's a whole teaspoon. Two. I like garlic. Get a little tomato sauce on there, wipe that off, push that aside. And I believe a little bit of salt and pepper just for taste, nothing crazy. A little salt, a little bit of pepper. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put the lid on. We're going to blend that up. down a little bit. Wish you guys could smell this. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wish you could smell it. Looks pretty good to me. So we're going to go ahead and put this off to the side. Alright my friends, so now I'm going to go ahead and chop up my um, onion and tomato. I mentioned earlier that I made some um, avocado chicken salad and this is the onion that I had left. I had chopped too much up so I'm going to use that and then I'm going to go ahead and continue to chop this up. my friends my water is boiling so let me remove the lid okay so I am going to be using a box and a half I did take um, what I needed out of the other box and just put it in here so I do have a pound of profali pasta oh careful dumping that in let me get my this pasta will cook for I believe 10 to 12 minutes. I'm going to get my timer set and then I'll start it once it becomes, turns to a boil again. So as soon as it comes to a boil I will start my timer. In the meantime we're going to cut up some tomatoes, some Kalamata olives, and some spinach. Okay so we're going to go ahead and put our onion in here. Okay, that is done. Let me go grab my tomatoes because I just washed them. All right, it calls for two pounds of tomato. We're not huge big tomato eaters, so we usually do. This is probably this may be close to two pounds. I'm not sure honestly. 
but I'm going to do two tomatoes. I'm going to cut them in chunks. Okay, so we're going to get ahead and put our, our um, tomato in here. And now we're going to get ahead and grab our Kalamata olives. Grab my spoon. Oops, I'm sorry. Alright. We're going to go ahead and chop these up. I love, love, love <laughs> these olives. And I do have my timer on for my pasta. This calls for, I'm not even sure how many it calls for. I just love these so much. Um, it says one jar, obviously. This is a very huge jar. So, I'm not doing that jar. But, um... These um, have the pit removed, so it makes it so much easier chopping them. And I just slice them in quarters, like that. And um, I just kind of judge when I put them in. After I cut them all out and put them in, I just kind of judge. You know, if you really like these, put more in. If you don't, put less in. Okay, so I have all my olives sliced, diced. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add those in there. And then the last thing I need to do is just chop up some of my fresh spinach and put that in. So let me go grab that. I just washed that. Okay, my friends, I have some freshly washed spinach here. And again, friends, this is to your, you can do this to your liking. Um, it calls for a bag. A fresh spinach my husband is not a huge fan I do like it so I'm gonna cut this up and I will probably just add a little bit of fresh spinach to mine uh, salad when I make it and eat it but like I said it did call for a bag of it see I might end up adding a little bit more than what I have here so we'll see let's put that in the bowl oh yeah, I think I'm going to add a little bit more. He needs some more greens, but don't tell him I'm sneaking it in, okay? All right, my friends, grabbed a little bit more. This is our secret. Don't tell him, okay? All right. Throw that in there. And then... We just need to, my pasta will be done in about two minutes, and um, I'm going to rinse it off in some cold water. These are for me to eat. All right, my friends, my pasta is done. Probably should move that a little bit. There we go. A little bit stuck. Let's get, get that pasta out. All right, now we're going to rinse it with some cold water.
You can see over here, friends, this is all my fresh spinach that I had purchased. They didn't have the bag of spinach in the store, so I just purchased some fresh in a bunch. All right, now that my pasta is rinsed off in some cold water, I'm going to leave it sit here to cool a little bit before I mix it up. Friends, while we wait for our pasta to cool, um, I just wanted to show you um, two quick tips. I had shown this in a, I think it was the dill pickle recipe um, video that I did, but in case you didn't watch it, I thought I would share um, this again. The farfalle pasta that I purchased, um, I had to buy two boxes because it was only 12 ounces. Um, actually, I didn't realize it was 12. I just, by luck, bought two boxes. Um, so I had a little bit left over, and I do not like leaving my pasta in the box. So I have these small containers that I get from um, Walmart. It's from Better Homes and Gardens section. And what I do is I have a chalk pen. I think I put it away. Um, it's a chalk pen, and I just write um, what the pasta is on there. And then on the side, I write how long to cook this pasta because I buy different brands. I buy Aldi, um, Food Lion, Giant, whoever has it on sale for the cheapest, I will buy. So I always write the time because they do differ. And also the style of pasta, um, or I guess it's called the style of pasta. Um, Farfalle versus penne or whatever. They also cook differently. So this is just one tip that I do and they stack nicely in my pantry So I just keep them in there on the shelf with my pantry and then I mentioned my um, Tomato paste. I only needed two tablespoons of tomato paste to make the puree and then I had you know half of a can left So what I do is take a freezer bag. I just write tomato paste on there I put it in and I try to push it down into the corner and then I will freeze this and when I need it again I just take it out and thaw it and then I can do it like a um, Icing bag. I just clip the tip off and you can do it Obviously, if you only need two more out of here, you might end up wasting a little bit, but overall, this is a great way to save money in the kitchen. So I just wanted to share that with you. So as soon as the pasta cools, I will come back and get it all mixed and share it with you. All right, my friends, my pasta has finally cooled down, so now we're going to get ahead and get the salad mixed up. So let me turn the camera down so you can see it. All right, friends, here is my onion, olives tomato and spinach I'm gonna mix that up that makes really well okay and I'm going to go ahead and put in I'd like to do half the pasta first stir it and then add the rest in I don't know why that's what I've always done and that's starting to look delicious look at that uh, one of our favorite, favorite, favorite salads. Okay, there we go. Let's get this mixed up really, really well. The colors are just so beautiful. Look at that. Looks so appetizing. Like I said, you can add a little bit more spinach if you'd like. Um, I just added what we like. That, that was just mommy up. It's okay. I banged the spoon and she thought someone was knocking on the door. It's okay, baby girl. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and add the dressing. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. I'm telling you. Ugh. Alright, so let's get this mixed up. Oh, I lost some onion and tomato. You see that? Is that beautiful or what? Mm. My mouth is watering already. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Oh, the smell of this. All right, and then I had some feta left over from another dish that we had made, and it wasn't quite enough, so I bought some more, but I'm going to use up this, and I just crumble it like that. 
break it up with my hands. Just kind of chunk it together. Like that, and then I'm going to use a little bit more. And I will link this recipe. I would type it up for you in the video, and you can just screenshot it. And I'll also um, type it up and put it in the description box. A little more feta. We like feta. So I used about three fourths of a block of feta cheese. Go. All right, my friends, and this is what it looks like. My goodness, so yummy. Oh, I just wish you guys could smell this. And there you go. All right, my friends, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some plastic wrap over this and then get it in the refrigerator. This bowl actually comes with the lid. It's from Pampered Chef, but the lid does not stay on. It pops off all the time. It drives me crazy. So let me go ahead and get this in the fridge. Alright, my friends. That is how we make our Greek um, pasta salad, bow tie pasta salad. This salad is so delicious. Mm. I wish you could eat, just the smell alone is so, so good. This is one of our favorite barbecue Memorial Day, 4th of July um, salads. So um, let me know if you guys end up trying this. I really would love to hear from you. Like I said, this this is one of our favorites. Just smelling this, I just want to hurry up and eat it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel as it greatly helps me out. And don't forget to hit that little bell because it'll notify you every time I have a new video coming out. So friends, thanks again for joining me. I really appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Bye. Now I'm going to go eat some salad. Mm.